In this video, I'm going to show you how to play Vindicated by Dashboard Confessional off of their album Dusk and Summer. And if that sounds good to you, smash that like button and stay tuned. What's up, Alt Rockers? America's favorite guitar playing ginger is back with another guitar lesson. If this is our first time meeting, my name is Scott, and on this channel, we learn how to play the best rock songs of the past and how to produce the best rock songs of the future. Leave a comment down below if Dashboard Confessional was your favorite emo band. And let's dive in. This song's gonna be in half step down tuning. So make sure you tune all of your strings down a half step, E to E flat, B to B flat, so on. The rhythm guitar in the intro will be playing these chords. So what we're doing there, E major chord. Let me come up here to what looks like a power chord on the fourth fret of the fifth string. But we're also gonna let the first and second strings ring open. Okay, and then we'll move that shape down two frets to the second fret of the fifth string. Still let the first and second strings ring open. And then we go to this A sus2 chord, which is like an A power chord. And again, letting the first and second strings ring open. And the right hand rhythm will go something like this. Down, 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 up, down, down, down. Down, 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 up, down, down, down. While the rhythm is playing that part, the lead guitar is playing this in the intro. So what we're doing there is we're playing notes on the third string that we'll be fingering here. And while we're playing those notes, we're gonna let the second string the B string ring open every single time. So we'll start on the 11th fret of the third string, and we'll hammer on immediately the 13th fret. Right hand rhythm, I'm gonna be down stroking everything and it's just straight eighth notes, so it sounds like this. Then we pull off 13 to 11. And we slide down to nine and then hammer on 11. We slide up to 13 and then right back down to nine. And then 11 and nine and repeat. At this point, we're into the verse. 
And in the verse, we just have this one palm muted guitar playing. And the part that it plays will sound like this. So what we're doing there is we're starting on this E power chord. So that's seventh fret of the fifth string. And we'll be palm muting most of the notes with the right hand, but he does let some of those notes ring out sometimes. Okay, but we'll be starting here. Right hand rhythm is similar to what we did in the intro. Okay, from that power chord, what we're gonna do is move the root note down to the ninth fret of the sixth string. So we'll leave the ring finger and the pinky where they are, and we just go from this being the root note to this being the root note. So we have ninth fret, sixth string, muting the fifth string now, and then we still have ninth fret, fourth and third strings with the ring finger and pinky. Then we go down to the seventh fret of the sixth string. Ring finger and pinky stay where they are. And then what we do is we reach all the way down to the fifth fret of the sixth string. Ring finger and pinky stay where they are. Now, if that's a reach for you, what you can do instead of reaching all the way down here is just play the open A string. And I imagine that'll be easier for most people. So we'll play through that part a couple of times in the verse. Second time it'll stay here on the seventh fret. And then we kick into the chorus. The rhythm part in the chorus sounds like this. So we'll be playing these chords. So those are the same chords that we use in the intro. They're just being played in a different order. So we start with the A major chord. We jump to the A sus two. Then up to the fourth fret here. And then to the second. rhythm guitar is playing that. The lead guitar is playing this pretty cool lick. And this lick's gonna go like this. So what we're doing there is we're starting on the seventh fret of the first string and then pulling off immediately to the open E string. Okay, and then we play second string, and then back to open first string. One more time. And we start doing that again. Seventh fret, pull off open. Second string open. And then we go ninth fret first string, and then seventh fret first string. And then that repeats several times. So it sounds like this slow. As we approach the end of the chorus, 
that lick will move up a bit so it'll... So instead of going 9-7, there is a time toward the end of the chorus where it goes 11-7. So just listen for that part. And it just rings out the first and second string as we enter the second verse. At this point, we'll play a second verse, nearly identical to the first, and a second chorus. Coming out of the second chorus, that lead guitar part that's playing this, instead of just ringing these two notes open to enter a verse, what we're gonna do now So we'll move up and we'll play 11 and 12 on the first string. And that's how we'll enter into the bridge. So in the bridge, we have quite a few effects going on, but the guitar is really just gonna be playing these chords. So these are all chords that we've already used. We start with the A suspended second. We're just gonna be playing whole notes, so we just strum and let it ring. Three, four, and then we move to the fourth fret. Two, three, four, and down to the second fret. Two, three, four, and then back to A suspended second. Three, four, and repeat. Three, four. So the way we end that, and then it kicks in with that vocal line. At this point, we'll go back into the intro riff. So that rhythm guitar. And that lead guitar part. And then we kick into the last chorus. Was Vindicated the best superhero theme song? comment down below. And while you're down there, click the subscribe button to join the congregation and get more guitar lessons and videos every single week. Thanks so much for joining me. And remember, hug the gingers in your life because we do, in fact, have souls.